y'all, Stephanie here, and as always, we're just in my kitchen cooking with me. And so this is a follow-up to our potatoes and parsnip dish. So I actually, when I finished boiling, I had about that much water left, and that's okay. I didn't drain it. I went ahead and just mashed it up with my potatoes and my parsnips, and it came out perfect. They're so creamy and retains the moisture. And I haven't even put any butter or oil in them. But what I am gonna go ahead and do is I then go ahead and I put about um, two tablespoons of coconut oil. There you go. And you can use, you know, whatever you have on hand or that you use butter, margarine, I love the, the flavor of coconut oil. You want to make sure that it is unrefined coconut oil. If it actually doesn't have that coconut flavor, that coconut taste, then you can be sure that it has been refined quite a bit. And so I just go ahead and I add that. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on here because of the parsnip that's already pretty tasty. And so I'm just going to go ahead and mix that up. Now, one of the benefits of adding parsnip in your potatoes, well, a couple of benefits. You know, one, it gives a, another little flavor, extra little flavor to the dish. Parsnip is actually a little bit lower in carbs than potatoes, if you're watching your, your carbs, which I do not, but I know a lot of people do. And then also it has double the fiber of a potato. And so parsnip is a great option to add to our dishes. And so I would just mix that up. You can add other seasonings if you, if you like. Um, I like adding garlic, of course, to everything, but it's up to you. Just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and you're good to go. And there's our mashed up potatoes and parsnip. Still steaming. All right, I hope you guys enjoy.